Former Cowboy Darren Woodson here to talk some football and to talk about a big event he's helping host on Saturday night, February 21st. It's Cowboys and Cowboys benefiting Sky Ranch. Sounds like a fun night. What's it all about? It's going to be a great night. It's going to be Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys of the past and uh, the current Cowboy players and rodeo Cowboys all at the same time. And what we're doing is we're, ben we're helping to benefit Cal uh, Sky Ranch, which is a camp out in East Texas. But we're giving kids, underprivileged kids, underserved kids, at-risk kids, we're giving them that opportunity to, to have a chance to go to Sky Ranch and, and have a great time. And it's a Christian-based camp. And this is my camera. Can I talk to this? My yeah, there you go, right there. It's a Christian-based camp, and we want to make sure that they, every kid in the city has an opportunity, whether you're a wealthy kid or a kid, or a kid at risk, we want them to have the opportunity to go to Sky Ranch and have a wonderful time and, and enjoy the facilities, but also enjoy the Christian faith that that's, that's provided. Mr. ESPN, wondering which camera this is. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> Omni, Omni Dallas Hotel, the location, Cowboys and Cowboys.com for more information. Dallas Cowboys offseason uh, is underway with news already. Joseph Randall arrested mm -hmm. on suspicion of marijuana uh, possession coming on the heels of that shoplifting incident. It complicates the situation potentially with DeMarco Murray there. Yeah. But do you think it gives him a little bit of leverage as, as he looks at dealing with the I Cowboys? I think it gives DeMarco a ton of leverage, and, and simply because they don't have that depth in, in, in the backfield. And you're, you're still talking about the leading rusher in the NFL right now. DeMarco Murray had an incredible season. The offensive line had an incredible season. But they're looking for depth, and they were looking to lean on Joseph Randall as far as leverage against DeMarco in the contract talks. But with this being... Uh, Joseph Randall's second run in with the law. I don't see them. I don't see the Cowboys having a lot of faith in their backups right now. The whole, whole Dez versus DeMarco thing is a big uh, storyline in this offseason. If you absolutely can only sign one oh, long term, one, I know, and you've been asked before, yeah, but uh, which one is it? You know, you really can't. It, it's hard to say. I think Dez is always that guy who's, who, who finds a way to be that that big-time playmaker down the field. And you need that guy in, in, in the system and in the league right now. Everyone's looking for the big-time playmaker that can take the top off the defense. That's Des Bryant. But when you want those extra yards, those guy, that guy that's going to continue to pound the rock. And we saw this year, I mean, he's the, in, the offensive player of the year for, for a reason, that, and that being he can run the ball in between the tackles, he can catch the ball to the back of DeMarco Murray had an incredible season. It's hard to choose which one you should keep. I think they're, they're both priorities for this organization to move forward, and they're both young football players. And I think that's the key right now. If you're trying to build and look to the future of this organization, there's two guys right now, DeMarco Murray, Des Bryant, and, of course, Tony Romo, to be those guys that you can continue to build around. You obviously talk about football for a living, but, it, but as you look at the way Jerry Jones is operating now, do you, you think it's significantly different than it, than it was even absolutely. when you played or, or in more recent a times? Absolutely. They've gone back to that old theory of what we, where we were in the 90s, and that's, Make sure your offensive line is strong. Make sure your defensive line is strong. And then your front, they want to control the front and build the defense from the middle to the, to the back end. I think the, the Cowboys right now, Will Clay has done a great job in the, in the back office as far as trying to figure out what he wants to do. The defensive coordinators, uh, Rod Marinelli, the offensive uh, staff, and, and Jason Garrett yeah. have done a great job of finding out where they are and what they want to do to build around the, the, the core of this team right now. And I think it starts up front. Offensive line is already a young group right now. The defensive line is where they're going to continue to build now. I think you picked the correct Super Bowl teams before the season, yes. didn't you? Yes, I so did. So is Dallas going to be one of your Super Bowl yes, teams they, for next year? I, you know, I, would, I, I, I have to take my foot out of my mouth. I, I picked the Cowboys to go 6-10 and 10 last year. Yeah. So I, I'm, Same here. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, you, you saw them grow as a football team. I think that right now, if they get those two guys signed, they still have to bring DeMarco Murray back. I still have to find a way to get Dez back in and get signed and be happy going into next year. Offensively, if they get those two guys signed, they're going to be hard to stop. It's still on the defensive side. They have to create more depth on the defensive side, not only up front, but in the secondary. I think this team has a chance next year to, to be fighting for a championship. Your team your teammate Charles Haley was uh, finally yeah. elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I know you're very happy for him. Yeah. Your name's being mentioned as a guy who should be strongly considered as well. You think much about that? All the time. <laughs> All the time. You know, I, I always want to start with the Ring of Honor. Hopefully Jerry puts me in the Ring of Honor, and then we'll figure out the, the, the Hall of Fame. But, you know, that, that question was asked to me by Trey Wingo with ESPN. He asked me a while back how I felt about my name being in the mix. And I told him, I said, listen, I feel like I belong. I feel like I belong with those names that are in the Hall of Fame. I played against some of the greats. I covered some of the greats. I ran down special down on special teams and tackled some of the great players. I feel like I, I you know, with three Super Bowl rings, that I belong uh, in that same category. But it's not up to me. It's up to the the, to the writers to, to vote me in.
But it hurts you the fact that Jerry hasn't put you in the ring of honor yet. Right? Yeah, of course. Again, that's your camera. <laughs> if you, wanna, <laughs> you want me to go back to the chair <laughs> you and beg <laughs> Jerry to put me in? I, I always see, I, you know, listen, I, when I first got drafted by the Dallas Cowboys, we went out to the field at Texas Stadium, at the old Texas Stadium, right. and walked out, and I saw that ring of honor. And, that's, and I stood on that star. I was with Kevin Smith and uh, young Larry Brown at the time, and I said, one day I'm going to get my name up on, the, on that ring of honor. And that's, that was always a goal of mine. Uh, to be a lifetime cowboy, I ended my career as a cowboy, but I still want to get up there in that ring. Can you still believe that uh, that call that Seattle made uh, at the goal line no, in that Super Bowl game? You like not. everybody else? Play to your strengths. I mean, your strength is running the football. I just I cannot believe it, Deuce. Well, Woody's strength has become talking on TV for ESPN. We co-hosted a show 20 years ago. <laughs> I have a photo of us then. One of us has changed a lot yeah. since then, and it, and it ain't you. I don't, I don't know how you do it. Deuce. All right. Again, uh, the, the event is coming up. It's Cowboys and Cowboys benefiting uh, Sky Ranch, February 21st. Go to CowboysandCowboys.com. Darren Woodson, always great to see you, Woody. Thanks, Deuce.